Okay, fellas, how you doing? This is the most requested video I have, alongside AA12 footage, of course. Yes, it's the setup video. A lot of you are curious to see the office, so to speak. And I've been kind of holding off on this until I acquired the new PC. And it's finally been built, it's all sorted out now, and I'm more than happy to show you around. So, yeah, let's take a look. All the commentary is post-recorded because I actually tried doing it live, and then when I watched it back, it only then occurred to me that when I was moving around the room, <laughs> when I was moving around the room, my microphone wasn't, so the sound varied as the video went on, and it sounded very odd, and as an audio freak, I can't have that. So, here's the fixed version. I'll take you around what I consider the essentials of the room. This may well be the most essential part of the room, <laughs> but seriously, a lot of you guys are actually unsure of where I'm from. A lot of you think I'm British, you're right. Even more of you seem to think I'm English. And that's where you're wrong. I'm actually from a country just to the southwest of England. Yeah, yeah, we'll go southwest. And it's the flag you're seeing on the wall now, it's Wales. Yes, yeah, all sheep shagging jokes aside, we do love our banter about sheep. But yes, I'm Welsh. And the two shirts you're seeing on the left and right are football jerseys. Or you might say soccer, but I prefer the term real football. And they're the shirts of Swansea City, my local team. And we got promoted to the Premier League last season, but these shirts are a little older than that. The one on the right is, I think it's from 2006, I'm sure. Yeah, bizarre pieces of decoration to many of you, but definitely relevant in my case. And uh, I think a home flag and home team shirts are definitely a lot more interesting to look at than a plain red wall. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> I'm currently under attack from a horde at this point, but I'm sure the bots can handle it. Whilst we continue to look around the... Goofy, goofy decoration, I guess. You're thinking, what the hell is all that shit? I'll come back to it shortly, but, um... Yes, Family Guy... Can't say I've watched Family Guy for quite a few years, but I used to love it, and... Led Zeppelin, essential for any room, surely? That big wire, if you're wondering, is to power the free view and that TV on the right, but... I don't really use that at all anymore. <laughs> um, that's something that can go. I'll make a note for that for the future. That is a caricature of me from 1993, when I would have been just two years old. And it seems like a lot of you don't know how old I really am. A bunch of you seem to think I'm in my 30s plus. Lads, I'm 20. <laughs> That's it. But yes, we all have a caricature, a cartoon drawing of oneself, and apparently this is me, a cartoon drawing of me at the age of just two. And he's drawing playing football in this. If he could have predicted the future, he would have drawn me behind a drum kit. A very small drum kit and a very large head, apparently. <laughs> but yes, keep that on the wall purely out of novelty and uh, comedy value. And you're wondering what all the fuck these are. These are tickets. This this is nearly, not every ticket, but this is nearly every ticket for every Swansea City game I've been to down the Liberty Stadium. And there's a few oddballs there, there's a couple of away games. And there's some tickets to some bands I've seen and uh, some comedians. That's Lee Evans. Uh, if you're not from Britain, you probably wonder who Lee Evans is. He's a very, very funny comedian. And uh, there's a couple down here from Swansea Grand Theatre for... Rod Gilbert and Dara O'Brien. Again, if you're not from the UK and Ireland, you probably won't know these guys. I was really, really hesitant about the Rod Gilbert one, but he was incredibly funny, to my pleasant surprise. And uh, Dara O'Brien, what a, what, a, what a lovely guy. What a very, very funny man. That up there is Kasabian at the CIA in Cardiff. And they are one of my favourite modern bands. Not my favourite, but uh, they're definitely one of the better bands to listen to today. And there's another Kasabian one down here. That one was also in the CIA. This one was from November 2009, the one at the top, 2011. And there's a couple of away game tickets in there, and there's one which I didn't actually get focus in on on camera. It's the most central ticket. It's when I saw The Who in the Liberty Stadium. You can just see it below that red ticket there. That was when I went to see The Who at the Liberty Stadium, my favourite band of all time. Not with, sadly not with Keith Moon and John Entwistle. Unfortunately, I was never given that opportunity, but... Still a wonderful gig all the same, and I thought I got all the tickets I wanted to in there, but there was one key one I missed out. That is at Wembley Stadium, Swansea vs Reading, when we got promoted to the Premier League. One of the greatest days out ever. It was one of the longest, certainly, but there was no way I was ever going to leave that ticket out. I almost forgot it, because <laughs> it's not on the main wall, but uh, it deserves its own little spot there. Check out my shaky camera skills. <laughs> uh, currently on the monitor is a game of Left 4 Dead 2. And the monitor's a Samsung 24-inch something or other. I hate trying to give model names because it's just a bunch of fucking letters and numbers to me. 
the keyboard is a Microsoft Sidewinder X4, but it's temporary. I'm thinking of changing it because the keys are very loud, especially the space bar. That is a Blue Yeti microphone. It's one of the best things I've ever bought, <laughs> simply put. And the mouse is a SteelSeries Akari Laser. And I love this mouse. Really, really, really nice fit, really comfortable to use. This, nothing special, just a simple TV monitor for playing on the Xbox. That's 19 inches. Happy days. And speaking of the Xbox, we'll sink down a little and there it is. Xbox on the right, HD PVR on the bottom left, and on top of that is a wireless transmitter for my headset. My headset, a lot of you uh, asked this question, it's a Turtle Beach PX5 currently, although that may change in the near future, who knows. And behind it all, Spaghetti Junction. Lots and lots of wires and cables going up, down, left, right. Can't make in the tail of any of that. A lot of the wires going over to the left towards the beast, which I'm currently approaching. Come on. Come on, please turn. Turn. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, down. There we go. <laughs> there it is. That is the new computer I've been craving for months, and a lot of you are going to want to know the specs, and uh, this is the part I'm dreading. Instead of trying to say them all, which is the one I'm fearing, I'm just going to write them on the screen and I'll put them in the description as well. Because, again, it's just a bunch of fucking letters and numbers to me. Thanks to Germa for helping me build this. Couldn't have done it without you, fella. I think that just about concludes the uh, essentials of the setup. <laughs> so I guess I could close with a few uh, explanations. Because uh, a lot of you are concerned that I don't upload enough. And you're not the only ones, because uh, I'm concerned too. It seems to be the bigger this channel gets, the less active I become. Which is kind of the reverse <laughs> of how it should work. I mean... At the position I was in a year ago, where I had about 1k, I was thinking to myself, if I had about 50,000 people to upload to, I'd do it every day. And now I've reached that position, <laughs> it's actually gone backwards, if anything. I mean, I'm putting it down to the enjoyment of Modern Warfare 3. It's something that lasted me a couple of months, and now I simply don't want to play the game anymore. And it definitely affects video making, especially when you've built the bulk of your crowd on Modern Warfare 3 stuff. But ultimately, if I don't want to play the game, it's going to be difficult for me to produce videos. But I really want to make videos about games that I do like. Games that I'm playing every day on the PC that I have now. Which are Battlefield 3, Team Fortress, Call of Duty 4, and many other games to come, I assume. All these other amazing games I'm still yet to play. Ultimately, Call of Duty is the ideal game for video making, for me at least, because you guys are all subscribed based off my content that revolves around Call of Duty. I mean, if you did happen to enjoy my Modern Warfare 3 stuff, then I hope you could find similar enjoyment out of any Call of Duty 4, World at War, Black Ops stuff that I could make in the future, because those are games that I'm absolutely happy to play. I'll enjoy playing them, I'll enjoy the video making even more, but Modern Warfare 3, sadly, I think is almost entirely off the cards, although I do still have some old footage on my hard drive that I could still piece together. Uh, probably not that many though, Only maybe on about four or five videos, but aside from that, I think the game's run its course for me, but honestly, I think I can make better stuff. Better stuff from games I'm going to enjoy playing, alongside the card games I mentioned, the Left 4 Dead 2, the Battlefield 3, the Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Go when it's out. I'm still getting used to my mouse and keyboard, I'm a bit cack-handed at the moment, but I'm improving, getting better. BF3 is tough, <laughs> tough learning curve for a new PC player. I should mention that Modern Warfare 3 isn't entirely dead with me, however, because I am helping out with Engineering Win, which is a show with Hutch, Incredible Orban, TBNR Frags on Machinima, and I think that goes up this weekend, I think it starts, it should be two episodes a week, and that'll be Modern Warfare 3 footage I'll definitely be taking part in. Aside from that, I think that's about it. I should mention that March is probably going to be my least active month on this channel, because I'm still getting set up and used to the PC, and... Still trying to get good at PC games, getting used to a mouse and keyboard, but uh, I'm getting there. Actually, I have Team Fortress gameplays I can uh, put up, but uh, Battlefield 3 stuff, that's going to be hard because I really am struggling with that game. Uh, that's going to take me some practice, but uh, it will happen. I'll make damn sure it happens. And uh, Card 4, possibly World at War and Black Ops, and I still have some old Modern Warfare 3 footage I can make into videos. Aside from that, I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.